Hi there. Welcome back to Career Launcher YouTube, where I, Ravi Teja, take you through sets of DILR and questions of quantitative ability on a regular basis on every Thursday. And uh, if you have watched it till now, if you have watched all my previous videos, all our previous videos that we are doing on a weekly basis, please subscribe to our channel and also like our videos and share it with any friends of yours who are also in need of content for CAT preparation for CAT 2022. All right. So as an instructor for DILR, I practice a lot of DILR myself. And uh, many a time, as a hota hai, ki I get stuck in questions. See, basically, it is not necessary that everyone will be able to solve all kind of questions. No one is God, actually. So what happens is even in an exam kind of a setup, you will typically have to take a call whether to proceed this uh, proceed with a particular set or not. The other call that you may have to take is, boss, I have spent five minutes with the set. I have been able to solve two or three or two questions. Do I spend another five minutes or 10 minutes because the other two questions are looking lengthier? Should I leave that set there or should I go ahead and solve that set? So basically, I am going to take you through a set of that particular type. It's a set from set theory that appeared in CAT 2018 slot two. And I'm also going to put a timer so if you can see, there is a timer at the bottom right corner of the screen. So through the timer, what I want to just take you through is, boss, how is it that I'm thinking when I'm reading the set? How is it that I'm thinking when I'm reading the set? As well as what is the judgment I'm going to take? So this is the set. So let's get started with the timer over here. Right. So what it says is that Fun Sports FS provides training in three sports, Gilly Danda, Poco and Ludo. Currently, it has an enrollment of 39 students, each of whom is enrolled in at least one of the three sports. So right now itself, it is giving me an idea that probably a set theory ka set hai because there are three sports, Gilly Danda, Kho Kho and Ludo. And the total number of students is 39. Everyone is a part of at least one of the three sports. The number of students enrolled only in L is double the number of students enrolled in all the three sports. So guarantee hai hai set theory ka question hai. Number of students enrolled only in L is double the number of students enrolled in all the three sports. So if this is X, this is 2X. There are a total of 17 students enrolled in G. Total of 17 students enrolled in G. Number of students enrolled only in G is one less than the number of students enrolled only in L. Number of students enrolled only in G is one less than number of students in only L. Only L is 2X. So this is 2X minus 1. The number of students enrolled only in K is equal to the number of students who are enrolled in both K and L. Only in K is equal to both K and L. So both K and L include all three as well as K and L but not G. So if this area is Y, this area must be X plus Y is what we know. The maximum student enrollment is in L. Maximum student enrollment is in L. Okay, Maximum number of students will be here. 10 students enrolled in G are also enrolled in at least one of the one more sport. 10 students enrolled in G are also enrolled in at least one more sports. So basically, if there are 10 students enrolled in G who are enrolling in at least one more sport, then this area, this area, and this area, these three areas together add up to 10. That means 2x minus 1 should be equal to 7 because the total number of students in G is 17. So if that is the case, if that be the case, x will be equal to 2x will be equal to 8. And x will be equal to 4. So we can get rid of all x's. We have solved for x. We have solved for x already. So x got added there. So these numbers are 2x minus 1, 4, and 8 respectively. Right? So this is going to be 4 plus y again. What else do we know? 10 students enrolled in G are also enrolled in at least one more sport. That means this area and this area together add up to 6 because already in between there is 4. So this area is X, then this area is 6 minus X. That is something we know about this. Okay. What do we know about Y? What can we know about the total number of students? The total number of students is 39. So if the total number of students is 39, barring G, barring G, outside G, there have to be there have to be 22 people because G alone has 17. So outside G, there have to be 22 people. Then 8 plus 4 plus Y plus Y. 8 plus 4 plus Y plus Y is going to be equal to 
22. That means y plus y is equal to 10. 2y equal to 10. Y must be equal to 5. So this is another thing that we can put over here. If y equal to 5, this area is 9. This area is 5. 9 and 5 are two numbers that we have got. We are three and a half minutes into the set and we have got almost all values that are required. Let us take a look at the questions. What is the minimum number of students enrolled in both G and K, G and L? Minimum number of students enrolled in both G and L but not in K. Minimum number of students enrolled in both G and L but not in K. So what is the minimum value of X? What is the condition we know? Maximum student enrollment is there in L. If maximum student enrollment is there in L, then we can be very sure that K greater than L greater than K. Who are all people who are inside L? L has 8 plus 5 plus 4 plus X, which is 13 plus 4, 17 plus X. 17 plus X is greater than who all are in K? 9 plus 5 plus 4 plus 6 minus X. 18 plus 6 minus X. 17 plus X is greater than 18 plus 6 minus X. That means we are going to get... Uh, 17 and 18, 1. So 2x, 1 and 5. 2x greater than 2x greater than 18 minus 17 plus 6. 2x greater than 7. So x greater than 3.5. If x is greater than 3.5, the minimum value of x is going to be 4. The minimum value of x is going to be 4. So we have got the first answer, 4. The number of students enrolled in K and L are 19 is to 22. What is the number of students enrolled in L? Basically, L has maximum number of students and K and L are 19 is to 22. If we take the next multiple, 38 is to 44, that is not possible at all because there are only 39 students, so 22 must be the answer option 4. Due to the academic pressure, students who were enrolled in all the three sports were asked to withdraw from one of the three sports. After the withdrawal, the number of students enrolled in G was 6 less than the number of students enrolled in L. While the number of students enrolled in K went down by 1. So this is too many conditions. After the withdrawal, how many students were enrolled in both G and K? Too many conditions to take care of. Too many conditions to take care of. This is where I would put a break to myself. I am 5 and a half minutes into the set. I have secured 3 plus 3, 6 marks out of the sets. Five and a half minutes for six marks. Is it good or is it bad? It is absolutely good. So this is where I would put a break to myself. I would look at the fourth question. Us maybe same condition diya hai. After withdrawal, how many students? So this is a particular case that you have to go forward with. Due to academic pressure, kuch alag wo kar rahe hai. To karne do, chhod do. Leave that set there. And this is what exactly I did in CAT 2018 slot 2. What it left me is six minutes of time I could have spent on some other set. Some other set and maximize my score. So that is the way to go about it, guys. It is not necessary that if you are spending time on a particular set, it is not necessary that you cannot let it go. It is not necessary that you solve all four or five or six questions that are there in that particular set. You may leave a set in between. You may leave a set in between. You may solve a set for only two questions. If you are getting those two questions in, if the first two questions of the set are easy and you are able to get that in five, six minutes, six minutes, six marks, chhodo. That's how we typically go about it. So if you like the content of this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. And uh, I'll be here again next Thursday bringing to you some other content related to DILR or quantitative ability. Thank you.